channel home with me mrs k thank you guys so much for choosing to watch my video today i really really do appreciate it and i hope you guys are having a really lovely sunday so far me and simon popped to b m this morning because we needed some essential bits for the new home which we are in by the way guys i don't know if you can really tell but we are in here and we are as you can see from the very very messy background i do apologize we are in a lot of mess and chaos at the moment there is stuff everywhere, there's boxes everywhere, there's bags of clothes everywhere, there's flat packs everywhere. We still haven't assembled all of the furniture yet. We still haven't unpacked a lot of the stuff. We are just literally living in chaos at the minute. We've been in here, our first night was Thursday night. So we've been here just over three days now. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot to do <laughs> and it is driving me crazy. But I thought today I'm just gonna have half the morning off. I'm gonna go shopping, come home, do this video and just have a bit of an easy day because we've had a really really busy week and i'm absolutely exhausted from this move guys i am so exhausted um so yeah i thought i'd come home and just do this video and show you guys some of the goodies that i did pick up i also went down the christmas aisle as well because i couldn't resist going down there they did have a few new items out that they didn't have last week so that was really nice to look at um so yeah i'm just going to show you guys really what i have got from b and i've also got a very small bag of bits i want to show you from team U as well so i'm literally just going to start showing you guys what i do have let me just bring you a little bit closer there we go not too close i don't need to see me up too close um okay let's start with these so these are really really cute look at these two christmas cookies here for one pound which i just thought was so adorable i got my kids one each to go in there Christmas stockings, just a nice little Christmas treat for them to have because I don't think it matters how old you are. Who doesn't love to have a really, really nice Christmas cookie at Christmas? Also as well, if you guys don't like to do like the whole baking thing on Christmas Eve, I know a lot of people don't like to do it. It's a very, very busy day. For us, it's a really, really busy day and I do a lot of cooking on Christmas Eve, especially a lot of baking. We make a lot of stuff. We make um, cookies for Father Christmas. Then we make cookies just to decorate for the kids to, you know, just decorate and eat themselves. So there's a lot of baking going on in our house on Christmas Eve. But if you don't like to really bake in, this is a really, really good idea for you to just buy a couple of these for your children, for them to put on a little plate and then give out to Father Christmas on Christmas Eve. And I think the kids would really, really enjoy these because they just look really, really cute. They do have four different designs. So I opted for the snowman and the gingerbread. They also had Father Christmas and a Christmas tree as well and these are gingerbread flavored ones so yeah they're going to go in their christmas stockings just something little for them to have this as well i picked up which is going to go in jessica's christmas stocking it's a little christmas pears machine i'm trying to turn it on the side so that you guys can see because this little bit of card is just literally in the way but it's a really really cute reindeer this was priced at a pound and again i thought it was just a nice little cute christmasy item to go in her christmas stocking now these, these are so lovely. I didn't see these last week, had to grab them today. These are the cutest little Christmas signs, guys. Have a look at that. Let you guys have a little read of that for a second. So it says, Mrs. Claus, sweet shop and pastries, hugs, kisses and Christmas wishes. It is made of tin and you do have a little string here. So if you wanted to, you can hang it on your Christmas tree or you can hang it on your kitchen counters over the handles or you can just prop it up next to your Christmas side or your hot chocolate station, whatever you want to do with it. I couldn't resist this. I really, really couldn't because most of the stuff that you see that has anything to do with baking is usually gingerbread or Father Christmas. It's very rare that anything has Mrs. Claus on it. So I had to grab this the second I saw it. I'm planning on putting this in my kitchen next to my hot chocolate station, or I'm planning on doing like a nice station full of like Christmassy sweets and then having this next to it how much were they price at two pounds each so i got one for me and i actually picked up one for my mum as well because i know she's putting reds in her kitchen this year so i think she's going to really really like that um this as well i got price at a pound for eight popcorn little cardboard boxes again i just got these to have around the christmas period for when we have our christmas movie nights oh guys this is so cute have a look at this this little silicone 
cake mold. Isn't it cute? Again, they had different designs. So I opted for the gingerbread. They had a pink silicone gingerbread house. They also had a red one and they had a green Christmas tree, I think. How much was this? Priced at £2.50, which for a cake tin, I don't think is that bad because I can keep this for years and years and years to come. So what I'm planning to do with this is I'm planning to make a really nice Victoria sponge cake because it's mine and Jake's absolute favourite. He is always asking me to do him a Victoria sponge. I do make a really nice Victoria sponge, I have to say. So I thought this year I would do a nice Christmassy shape one. And I'm hoping it comes out really, really good. And then we can sort of like decorate the face and stuff and give him a nice bit of detail with some icing pens but I will be doing a lot of videoing around the Christmas period I will be videoing all of our Christmas baking and Christmas Eve stuff and just showing you guys what we get up to so hopefully fingers crossed if this turns out okay I will be showing you guys how this has turned out and how we decorate it but I thought that was a really really cute thing for Christmas oh this now this is the one thing that I have absolutely been dying to show you since I picked this up. This is possibly, I know I say this a lot, I should get this printed on a t-shirt, I love it. I know, I'm very aware that I say I love it quite a lot, but this has honestly got to be one of the nicest Christmas decorations I've ever seen and I ever own. Let me show it to you. I can unwrap it. They did wrap it really well, I have to say. Okay, guys. <laughs> guys, have a look at this. I'm just so excited to show this to you. Okay. I'm just gonna let you guys have a look at that for a quick second. How adorable is this? Guys, it's just so cute, isn't it? I love how their hands are behind their backs. I just think that's so cute. Really, really sweet. So Father Christmas and Mrs. Claus kissing each other. I just thought it was so adorable. And the detail on this is really, really beautiful. Look at her dress, so lovely. She's got little dots on her socks. Oh, I just thought it's so lovely. And then in her hair, she's got a piece of holly in her hair bow. Isn't it sweet? Really, really lovely. And what you could do, if you have a really, really small piece of mistletoe, you can just hang this above them so it looks like they're kissing under the mistletoe. Oh, I just thought this was so lovely. I love things like this. I really love the kind of old fashioned, vintage Scandinavian Christmas decoration. It's my absolute favorite. It's what I always buy. And there was no way I was gonna leave this behind. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it was priced at seven pounds which i know some people might think is a little bit expensive for a christmas ornament but you're never going to see this again and i thought i have to get this before they sell out so lovely and again you might be surprised to hear this it's going to go on my christmas <laughs> bookcase but it's going to take pride and joy in this house and i just think it's really really lovely don't you really really lovely so yeah i'm very excited to have all of this stuff out this year and be able to decorate in my new home so yeah it's gonna be really really exciting christmasy bits do i have any more yes i have some candy canes here i'm not sure how many you get in here but these were priced at one pound i've just got these to put around the house really in like a nice little glass jar and then also another thing that i like to do in this house on christmas eve is we do a candy cane scavenger hunt i literally hide these all around the house and outside sometimes and then the kids just have to go and run off and find them so that's why i've got these i'm pretty sure they were a pound they come in red or a green color um these are not christmas related but let me show you them where's the other one i have two of these guys oh one's got one missing uh where's the other one it's oh, almost not <laughs> I've got these for the kids to have for Halloween. They're just Halloween buckets of candy floss. It's spider's webs in strawberry flavour. And they were priced at a pound each. And they also had green witch ones as well. Now, this I am going to show you, but this is not from B&M. This is actually from the range. But isn't he just the cutest? I absolutely love his dressing gown. That's what drew me to him in the first place. I really, really love this dressing gown. Love the pattern. I love that he's got a little bit of green in him as well because most Santas are always red. So I thought this was really, really lovely. It's got lovely little striped socks on here. Really, really cute reindeer slippers. I love the way he has like a little long Christmassy night hat on. I just think he's so lovely. Really, really nice. Isn't he cute? Really, really lovely. I paid £15 for him, which compared to the ones in Home Bargains, they are a little bit taller and bigger for the £15, but quality-wise... I would say these ones are a lot better just for the quality purposes. But yeah, I just absolutely 
fell in love with him and he is going to come in so handy for the Christmas Eve theme that I have got planned for this year but I'm not going to say too much about that for now because what I am planning to do and I know guys I keep promising to do this video so I do apologise but I will be sitting down with you all getting all festive and I will be chatting to you about everything that I plan to do for Christmas this year what all of my themes are. I'm also gonna share some Christmas ideas with you that might help you guys as well, um, stocking filler ideas, and just have a nice long chat about Christmas in general. So I will be telling you about all of my themes that I have planned for this year. But for now, I'm not gonna to say too much, but he is gonna go really, really good with one of the themes that I've got planned for this year. I'm just so excited for Christmas this year. I really, really am. Fingers crossed I'm well enough this year. I really, really hope I am well enough for Christmas. Do I have any more Christmassy bits from? Yes, I do. Guys, look at this. Their wrapping paper is absolutely stunning. And I know that might sound like a weird word to use for wrapping paper, but it is. It's just absolutely stunning. Have a look at the print and the colouring. I hope you guys can see the colour as lovely as it is, because I don't think this camera really shows the colouring. It's absolutely beautiful. The most loveliest pastelist pink colour really really nice i'm gonna to have to come a bit closer because i just want you guys to see the detail on this because it's so lovely look at the little gingerbread houses aren't they lovely and the little green bits of mistletoe which i thought was a really really nice touch it's just the most prettiest paper i've ever seen really really nice how many meters do you get though eight meters for one pound fifty and then i opted for this one as well which is like a nice ivory color with the really cute pink candy canes on and I just love the little bit of blue, like the little bow, it just makes it so cute. And it just works with this one, like so well. Look at those together. Really, really pretty. So I have got these to wrap up Jessica's presents with. So the reason I have got two different wrapping papers for Jessica is purely because I find when you use one piece of paper and you're wrapping a ton of presents, because I do get my kids a lot of presents and I know a lot of people don't agree with that and I do get a lot of scrutiny on here um from a lot of people but i've i've always done that it's something that i've always done it's something that my parents done for me and i just find when you wrap up in the same paper everything just looks very kind of blocked and you can't really notice what is there whereas if you use two different papers and you put it all out in a really lovely pile you can just notice the presence a little bit more and it just looks really really lovely so that's my reasoning for getting two different um pieces of paper um so that's that i think that's all of the christmas bits that i had to show you from being in i've got some tea new stuff to show you but now i'm going to show you the essential stuff that i needed to pick up for the house so we needed a toothbrush holder because we have a cabinet now which we've never really had before i used to put my toothbrushes in a tray in a drawer but now we're putting them in the cabinet we needed to get a little toothbrush holder so i just picked up this basic beige one for only a pound I also picked up this draft excluder tape for four quid. We have got a really, really bad draft in the living room. And I mean, it's a really, really big kind of gap. So we really need to fill it with this. So I'm hoping this works. And that was priced at four pounds. Let me just stick that there. Uh, I also picked up some more hangers as well for the wardrobe. Ten hangers here for three pounds. 50 pence they have them in black and white also but i opted for the gray color this time oh these are christmas related but they're not christmas decorations but they are christmas gifts so i'm going to show them to you so i have got one each for the kids they are forever losing or breaking their iphone chargers guys and it really is getting to the point now where it's driving me absolutely insane like the amount of money that i have to keep spending on buying these like wires that we get them from poundland so i said to simon these look really really good they're quite expensive ones and I'm hoping it lasts them for quite a long time. So I've got them one each and I just think they're going to be really, really handy gifts and something that they're going to really, really need actually. I opted for two different colours so they don't fight over the charges. I've got Jake the grey one and Jessica the white one and they were both priced at £15 each and they are Goodman's make. So I'm hoping they last them for quite some time because at the moment we're just getting them like the iPhone chargers from Poundland and they're just not really lasting very long um this i also picked up as well this is like an extension lead kind of towel which i thought was really really good it has 10 sockets on it for just 12 quid which i think is a really really good price actually because jake has got a lot of plugs going on in his room i mean he's got 
his PC that he has to plug in, his laptop, his PS5, his Xbox, then he's got his PS4, and then he's obviously he's got like his phone chargers and everything like that. So he has a lot of stuff going on, and he's just got this really, really long extension lead, and it's just literally all over the place. So I thought this would be a really, really good idea. Keep everything in one place, it's nice and tidy, you can go against the wall. And yeah, I just think 12 quid for 10 sockets is a really, really good price. So I'm gonna give him that a bit later on so that you can pop that in his room. I did get this as well. Pick it up for you guys to see, it's quite heavy. So it's a plastic drawer storage, comes in two different colors. I opted for the white color and they also have gray as well. Um, this was priced at 22 pound and it's quite a really big size um, storage unit actually. It's 40 times 87 centimeters. It's a nice thick chunky drawer, which is really, really good. This is bought to go in the wardrobe in Jessica's bedroom. So she actually has two wardrobes. So one is hers and one is for me and Simon, but there's nothing on the floor. So at the moment, we've just got all of our clothes hanging up on hangers, but we really needed some kind of storage drawers to put, you know, socks and underwear and bras and stuff like that. So that's why I grabbed one of these. So that's gonna go in the wardrobe a little bit later. I also picked up a new single duvet for Jessica. She did have a double bed, which she decided she didn't want anymore because obviously if she puts a double bed in her room now, it's gonna swallow up quite a lot of the room. So she went back to her single bed. Luckily, I kept the single bed frame just in case. So yeah, now she's gone back to a single. I need to get her a single duvet. This one was priced at £16. I also got some new curtains as well, but I'll show those to you guys in a minute. I picked up this DVD player as well for me and Simon because every time when we want to watch a DVD, we have to keep borrowing the kids' PlayStation 4 and a lot of the time the kids are on it. They don't really like to, you know, lend it to us when they're on their gaming with their friends. So I said, look, let's just grab ourselves a DVD player. So now we've got one, we can plug it in and we can start watching some films. And this one was priced at 25 quid. It's also gonna come in handy as well, especially now Christmas is coming. I do like to get all of my Christmas DVDs out and I love to just sit and watch all of the Christmas films. So yeah, that was definitely needed. Let me show you guys the curtains that I have picked up. I do wanna get blinds for this living room, but obviously I'm just not in the position at the moment to pay up for blinds right now. So for the next few months, I'm just gonna stick to curtains i've got these net ones which are just going to go on the living room windows you only get one in a pack so i had to grab two of those they're just a very cheap kind of thin white mesh material priced at six pounds each so i'm going to use two of those to double up because it's quite a big window and then i've got some heavy blackout ones as well because obviously the living room is now our bedroom so we need to make sure that the curtains are drawn once it does get to evening. I wasn't gonna get these ones. I was gonna get like some really beige kind of silky feeling ones. They were priced at 15 pounds each, but I saw these ones and I was debating for quite some time because I do think they are a little bit expensive. Priced at 25 pounds each and you only get one single panel. So I had to get two, but I've just never seen curtains like it guys. I really haven't. It's like flannelly kind of towel material which is really really nice they're blackouts as well but they also keep the heat into your home so it's a good way of you to heat up your home without constantly having to put your heater on which i thought was a really really good idea and especially now that we've got this really horrid draft coming through the door so i said look we're going to have to spend out a little bit of money here and I'm hoping that it's going to be worth the money and I'm hoping it does keep all of the warmth in. I think, guys, that's all of the stuff that I got from B&M. So let me just show you the few bits that I did get from Timu quickly. Is my new slippers! Guys, obviously, these are just the cutest pair of slippers I have ever owned. Now, I'm going to be honest, okay? I wasn't expecting great things for these slippers. I thought these were too cheap. They're going to be horrible. They're going to be thin. They're not going to be comfortable. I promise you, these are the most softest, comfiest slippers I have ever owned. And they are just so cute, aren't they? Jessica thought I was absolutely crazy last night because I said to her, I've named my slippers. She was like, what? I said, yeah, I've named my slippers. The left one is milk and the right one is shake. So it's milkshake. <laughs> um, I got this as well, which I have taken out of the packaging because I actually wore this last night because we went pumpkin picking. So yeah, this is why I bought this hat in this really, really lovely burnt orange colour, which is great for the autumn. Really, really lovely. Again, I wasn't expecting great things. I'm gonna to have to be honest because 
it's from Timu and I wasn't expecting great quality. But I promise you, this is really, really lovely material. Really, really thick. It kept me really lovely and warm. And yeah, I was very surprised at it for the price as well. Really, really lovely. I just think it's such a lovely autumnal colour. Really, really nice. Oh, this I've got. This is so good. I will pop the prices of the Team You stuff up in my corner. So this is a window sticker. Isn't it lovely? Again, it's one of those lovely images that just looks very kind of Victorian, very Scandinavian. Really, really loved that when I saw it. And again, this is going to go on the living room window. So yeah, really, really happy with that. This Christmas bag, guys. Have a look at this Christmas bag. Oh, isn't it lovely? Look at this. It's the red Christmas truck, which is my absolute favourite, as you guys know. So yeah, I thought I'd grab this shopping bag to take out when I do Christmas shopping. Isn't it pretty? It's really, really nice. Really, really good quality again. Really, really lovely size. So I'm going to really enjoy going Christmas shopping with my new bag. What else did I get? Oh, I've got this really cute little novelty gift thing here, which is going to go in jessica's christmas stocking it's from the i don't know how you pronounce this is it santa rio like hello kitty range you have like santa rio hello kitty cinnamon roll um and a coroli one i think that's how you pronounce it but it's like all the range with the kids and they love all of this stuff so i grabbed her this for a stocking and then when you push it the little bubble that she's holding blows up which i thought was so cute so yeah i grabbed that for her to go in her christmas stocking and then I've got some other little bits in here. Let me take them up and show them to you. So I have got this. Have a look at this. Stitch football. It looks like a sticker, but it's actually an iron-on for your t-shirt or jumper. Isn't it good? Really, really good. And I paid really, really cheap for this as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pop down to Primark and try and find a really cheap, plain t-shirt or jumper. And then I'm going to iron this on there and then wrap it up for one of her birthday presents because it's actually her birthday in the next week or so, which I will also be videoing. So I will show you guys what I have bought her and then show you it once it is all wrapped up. Um, oh, I have some more tricks in here for the kids for Halloween. I have to talk quietly because obviously they're like really close now. They're in the next room. This is like a fake tongue. So you put it on your tongue and then you can pull it so it looks like you're stretching your tongue. So I've got this to go in their Halloween boxes. I'm not sure who I'm going to give that to yet. They're probably going to fight about it. This as well, which is going to go in um, Jake's Halloween bag. I'm getting confused with Christmas and Halloween. It's kind of like a face bandana thing just to wear like over Halloween. So I thought I'd grab in that. I can't remember how much it's worth, but like I said, I will pop the prices on up here because it's very hard to know what to get his age for halloween or christmas it's very very difficult so what i get in this he can choose to wear that if he wants to come out of us for triple treating he can use that so that's that one what's this oh this is for your playstation 5 let me bring it up close so you guys can see that it's like a little hook for you to hang on the side of your ps5 to hang your controller on so i thought that was a really really good christmas um stocking filler idea so let me pop that on the table so i know where it's going this again is another sticker iron on for you to put on your t-shirts or jumpers so i thought i would get that for myself it's kind of like mean girls but they're like ghosts for halloween which i thought was really really cute so yeah that is for me this as well is for our mean girls movie nights so i'm planning on doing like a halloween mean girls the movie night for me and jessica so i've been getting all little bits of pink so these little popcorn cardboard boxes are going to be really really cute for that uh, what's this oh bat stickers i love these i use these every single year they're just little bat stickers that go on your wall really really cheap from team U. um what else do i have oh this is my christmas sticker tape guys i've been waiting to see these because when i do the adults christmas paper i always do brown paper so that's what i'm going to do again this year and then I saw these really, really cute stickers, which I'm going to put in the top corner of the presents. Why is that not showing you guys it very clearly? Can you see that, guys? Aren't they lovely? Look at that. The red truck. Then you've got like the red farmhouse, the pine cones, and you've got the Christmas wreath, Christmas tree. Isn't it lovely? Really, really pretty. It's quite a thick roll. So there's a lot of stickers on there. So that's going to make my presents look really, really pretty. And also, if you wanted to, you can put them on the back of your 
Christmas card envelopes to seal them down. Right, and then lastly, what is this? It looks like a bag. Oh, I've got one more thing over there as well. Is this a bag? What's this, guys? Oh, yes, I do. I've just remembered. This is actually a cover for your PS5 to keep all of the dust off, which I thought was a really, really good thing for Jake's Christmas stocking. Isn't that good? So, yeah, you're going to love it, actually, with these little hooks to go with that. So let me pop that back in the bag. And then I've got one more thing to show you continuing. Oh, come out there. And then lastly, I ordered these and then for a, another present for Jessica for her birthday. She absolutely loves Hello Kitty. She loves it. She's got the pink ones at the moment. I ordered them for her. She's got those. So because she loves them so much, I actually got her the Halloween ones, so they're pyjama bottoms. Have a look at these. So cute, aren't they? She's going to love them. She's really, really going to love them because she lives in her pink pair at the moment. Her and her friends have them. It's like a massive trend at the moment. Apparently all the girls are wearing it on TikTok and stuff. So she was really desperate for the pink pair. So I got her those last week. So I thought, yes, get her the Halloween ones for a birthday present. She's going to really, really love them. And then I'm going to try and get today again in Primark to get a plain black long sleeve top to just have like as a pyjama top. So yeah, she's going to be really chuffed with these. But yeah, like I said, I will be videoing all of Jessica's Christmas, uh, well, I'm getting a few birthday presents this year, which I don't normally do. And then I will video her little birthday set up as well for you guys to see. So yeah, that is all of the bits and pieces that I needed to show you guys today. Thank you so much if you have watched this all the way to the end. I know it has been quite a long video. So thank you guys all very, very much. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. I love you all. Bye bye.